So for the Ferris wheel problem, this is your first application of the trig functions. And some of it I'm going to help you get started. And some of it is intended for you to explore and discover on your own. Now to help you get started, you're going to need a couple pointers here. Uh, you're going to need to create a table of values. And I'm highly suggesting that you use my time values that are shown in the table. These will correspond to particular heights that you will figure out based on these facts. And on this sketch. Okay, now it's going to be up to you to read a little bit about the Ferris wheel so that you understand why I'm drawing this sketch to help you get started. Notice that there's some heights from the ground, also the radius, and we have revolutions that correspond to these times. And then again, this table of values. Now, once you fill out your table of values, you're going to want to graph and create a sine wave. And then it's going to be time to analyze your sine wave using the questions that are on the back of the paper. Okay, and the ultimate goal is for you to come up with an equation of your sine wave, which you will do in part three. And that equation then should confirm or sh you should be able to confirm your answers that you discovered earlier in the activity.